you know, while the times are good, it helps you to meet your various goals. In certain times, you know, there may be some unforeseen situations, unforeseen expenses. If you have planned your finances well to remain on track, how you save money, how you mobilize that money, uh, and then how you invest it and how you use, how you accumulate it, and then eventually how you use it. Hi everyone, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Pankaj Jingra and as you all know me by now, I am a proud FinTrammer. Welcome, welcome guys, welcome to another session, another session in your journey of becoming a CFP professional. Yes, my friends, we have been doing and we keep doing, we will keep doing these sessions, sessions like this to make sure that you get the best from your CFP preparation standpoint. Guess what? From the fraternity of army. Yes, my friend, I have someone today with me who has been a veteran in the army and also in the CFP world and has been helping people around the world, around India in their CFP journey. I have with me Brigadier Ved Prakash Sar with us and I really wanted him to be here to talk to you about his journey and how CFP has been helping him and of course his people all throughout. And that is the reason when I really reached out to him and thank you sir for that. That is the reason when I really reached out to him. He was super happy to be really part of part of this, this, this session and of course to come over here and talk to you. I'll just you know move on to him and of course you know start talking to him to have his introduction first. Welcome sir, welcome and wish you a very good afternoon and thank you very much for joining us. I would start off sir with your introduction. I think that will be the key you know, why don't you start off with your introduction and then we'll pick it up from there. Uh, thank you, Pankaj. Thank, uh, thank you very much for the wonderful introduction. Firstly, it's an honor for me to be invited to FinTran for this session. Uh, and I look forward to a very uh, stimulating uh, journey with you. I joined the army way back in 1981. That's the time I got commissioned into an infantry. And I retired eventually in 2017. And in this long journey of three and a half decades, uh, traveled all of the entire part of India, uh, did bulk of my operational assignment in Jammu and Kashmir and in the Northeast. Uh, this career stint of mine has been very satisfying and there's nothing better that I could have asked for it. Uh, post my retirement, uh, financial modeling was one thing which always interested me. Somehow at the back of my mind, uh, I was always drawn towards it. And therefore, when I thought that post my retirement, what would I do? What is that which will interest me? Uh, financial modeling came as a natural answer to me. And in that, when I further dwelled and analyzed on it, I realized that what actually interests me is this subject of personal finance. And that's when I decided that I will pursue the, uh, I will open a certification to formally acquire this knowledge and to disseminate to uh, to my other friends and my colleagues. I think, I think you know, uh, to your point, you know, that you have chosen personal finance for a reason. I think it is certainly, guys, for anyone and everyone to really pick this up and think about it because personal finance, I can tell you, is whatever I've seen is one of the area that is being missed by almost all of us. We are very much concerned about the profile that we manage in the corporate, outside the corporate. But when it comes to personal finance, we tend to lose out on that. And, and I am completely in agreement with you, sir, that, you know, this is one of the area what one and everyone should be thinking about. And I'm glad that you've chosen that. So, uh, you know, sir, you have spent so many years uh, with the army. And of course, I'm sure, you know, that would have taken you to various places, you know, within India, you would have stayed in a village, in a town, metropolitan, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll, we'll talk on CFP later, but uh, tell us one thing that that has been your biggest learning in terms of, uh, you know, being uh, at various places all throughout. Again, we'll talk on CFP, don't worry on that. But, you know, this is more to do with our own learning from you. Uh, see, life in the army is a... It's, it's a way of life. It's a way of life. And we are trying to accomplish something 
which is very difficult and it requires the management of men material and resources and therefore it requires the leadership skills of the, of the highest order uh, you know to be able to ask somebody to make the supreme sacrifice you need much more than the you know than just your authority to be able to achieve that and therefore living with men guiding them and achieving the objectives given to us has always been the mission and it is with this and uh, you know it is it is with certain amount of zeal and enthusiasm that we always went about uh, you know doing these tasks now in this thing we travel almost you know we we uh, we we saw the mountains we saw those rugged mountains of jnk and ladakh we saw the the primary jungles of the northeast uh, we also see we saw the plains of punjab and rajasthan been down south uh, seen all the, uh, you know so the horizon that you you know uh, uh, that you finally uh, simulate for yourself is a tremendous learning in itself and all the places in fact uh, you know we uh, we are proud that we are a part of this country which has you know uh, you know we are culturally integrated but each part is different when it comes to its traditions it comes to its uh, the way the way people live and the culture and and the and the culture means it's different but yet we are integrated we are integrated and that is the best part and that's a matter of pride for this nation of ours yes and guys you know uh, while i have not seen it but you know with what all i have spoken to him and of course to the other uh, you know veterans from the army and of course from the navy and all of that you know it really takes a heart and a mind and a soul to really be there and you know give your 100% and give your keep giving your 100% on an ongoing basis so a big salute sir for to you know to all of you uh, especially to you you know for you know for making this making this uh, you know as a journey for yourself i think switching on now and shifting on now um, you mentioned that you know you wanted to do something on financial modeling and finally you circled down on personal finance and started off cfp uh, why cfp if i really I have to ask you you know again you know personal finance also you may have so many things but what made you shot down cfp you know which you right uh, it's a very nice question actually and uh, you know i also thought a lot when i uh, you know when i was when i was analyzing as to what career choice should i adopt i realized that personal finance is less about finance and it's more about personal <laughs> so there was a certain amount of psychology was you know it mattered uh, uh, it revolved around what psychology finally you know how you are made up uh, but at the same time acquiring of certain financial literacy was essential because eventually your your opinion or your psychology does get molded by those financial uh, literacy concepts unless you understand if you don't understand those uh, it uh, it will not be prudent to f- to form up your mind uh, on any money decisions uh, money decisions are important uh, somehow we neglect it and we tend to take this money decisions based on on seeing what our parents did or yes. based on what our uh, our friends are doing uh, least realizing that you know that we should look at what our goals are how will we achieve our goals where where do we stand today as far as finances are concerned in our career where do we want to be after a certain point of time and how do we navigate from here to that to that place uh, now these requires a certain amount of skill this requires tools to acquire this i found that the best option available to me was the cfp the curriculum of cfp is so structured that it meets all the tenets which are required for a personal finance uh, it does not dwell only on you know people just think that financial planning means investing it does not mean that it goes much beyond that it caters for how you save money firstly how you earn money how you save money how you mobilize that money uh, and then how you invest it 
and how you use how you accumulate it and then eventually how you use it so all this it's it's a process which is required for the uh, which is a part of the of the financial plan and that is what interested me not investment per se so you know getting uh, involved with a person's lives finding out where he stands today and where he wants to be in the future and how you can strategize his his cash flows is what interested me and that's how i opted for this certified financial planning and and, uh, and after having done this certification about 7 years back i'm fully convinced that the curriculum is more than adequate and prudent to be able to resolve these issues of uh, personal finance absolutely and you know no one could have uh, covered it better than what you the way you mentioned i think one of the important aspect of of the learning or the take away from here is that guys when we think about personal finance we generally think about in, you know investment but you know actually personal invest, personal finance goes much beyond your investment it is about what you earn how you earn how you spend how you save what you do with that saving which is investment how you deal with taxes how you deal with your retirement how you deal with your uh, i would say post death kind of areas where you would you won't be there right at some point in time so what do you do with the planning of post death arenas and while you know thinking about on all of these areas or thinking about all of these things what is that that you should do at this point in time is something that is the most important thing and i think you you, you really uh, you know covered it really well Thank in terms so of you know uh, you know making this to life and guys that is something that you know uh, i would say is a key takeaway for all of us because we're not talking over here about a course or a curriculum we are actually talking on on a life skill that all of us should have because all of you have money right or would have money if you don't have it by now you would have that money that you probably would be thinking about in terms of you know what should we do how should we do that and so on so for that that's where you know the qualification like cfp the knowledge that cfp really brings onto the table really makes a see difference and you know i'm glad that you know we are talking on this sir if i really extend this further you know uh, how had cfp helped you after you have uh, done your qualification or got the qualification right i have realized one thing that financial uh, financial illiteracy or financial problems is one of the biggest cause of causing stress to an adult's life yes uh, you know what the uh, the biggest help which a financial planner can do or the financial planning does to you is that you know while the times are good you know while you you know you have your various goals it helps you to meet your various goals in certain times you know there may be some unforeseen situations unforeseen expenses if you have planned your finances well it helps you to remain on track that's i have seen many a people you know who haven't planned for certain contingencies and when they arise i have seen them getting off course off the track and you know uh, uh, not having a very uh, you know palatable situation for them so that's where the financial the, the if you have if you have planned your finances well or if you have planned your uh, cash flows well to also cater for certain unforeseen situations right you may face difficulty but you will be on track very soon yeah. and i think i think all of us need it guys all of us need it and that is how i have been doing it uh, in my uh, personally Personal in capacity. my finances that's what i have been doing it uh, it was the cfp which taught me what actually risk is yes <laughs> you know this concept of risk because everybody sees the markets are very uh, risky. risky right without realizing what risk actually is you know when we talk of risk Uh, the the uh, 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 it has got two components actually the 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 ability to take, to take risk and the willingness to take risk <laughs> we do not understand you know that do we have the ability to take risk while many of us have the ability to take risk yet we don't want to take risk because we don't have the willingness which is more of a psychological issue and it is this and it is this teaching of the cfp which taught me uh that actually what risk is and what measures you need to take mitigate risk not totally be away from uh, risk at all from risk at all
and it's it's a function of skill versus will by you know boss because you know you may have you have to think about you know what skill you carry from the standpoint of managing the risk and at the same time you have to think about what willingness you have in terms of having your right risk appetite which is more like you know are you a risk averse guy or a risk taker and so on so both you know all of these things really really and all of these things somewhat somewhere matters in terms of your overall planning of financial plan or you know your own plan from the short to mid to long term standpoint and that's you know i think you nailed it very well that you know that's one of the areas what what we really have to think through but i think one of the things that i'm, I'm just thinking and, and making it out one of the things that that you may uh, uh, want to help our audience with is that uh, how tough the cfp was because many of the students who are thinking about doing cfp and has an interest in terms of you know advancing themselves on the on the, on the personal finance side uh, you know coming from a faculty or a teacher like yourself would help them in terms of understanding that how difficult or how easy it was or it is for that for that matter uh, as you guys the degree of difficulty is concerned i can take my own example after having for served for 35 years at you know i i decided to do this cfp at the age of 54 years so if i can do it i don't think it is difficult <laughs> i don't think it will be difficult but yes the syllabus is is quite robust it is quite exhaustive and if somebody thinks that uh, you know that it can be done within a month or so uh, that will be a wrong notion it's it needs a very deliberate uh, preparation uh, preparation it requires a comprehensive study it requires you to understand the concepts yes if you can understand the concepts well you will be able to apply those concepts in solving many problems that are there you will be able to use those concepts in in building up models which will help you to take good money decisions yes so it is those things which is important and therefore yes it is exhaustive it uh, it includes a lot of uh, of things which we which we may not have learned earlier but it's not difficult and i think you know i'll extend that you know you you just mentioned it that you know when it can be done at this age why you cannot do that of course there is a food for thought for all of you to really think about it but one thing that is really important for you to know is that while cfp exam has four different curriculums you have the you know the investment planning as as one of the curriculum you have the risk and estate as another curriculum you have the retirement and tax as the another curriculum and then you have the integrated financial plan to be the fourth one all of these curriculums can be taken up one by one which is a big advantage yes. right you don't have to give all the four curriculums in the one go score this much clear this much nops clear one move on to the next one clear that move on to the third one and rest is history that is one of the biggest advantage of a qualification like this and you know as i have spoken on all of these areas i'm sure you know you can reckon that fact right now that you know all of these areas are somewhat somewhere relevant to you as a personal personal finance you know or i would say opportunity uh, that you really have to manage in your own finances and that is the reason you know we really call this to be life skill rather than a qualification that all of us you to have and you know don't forget that you know even the finance minister of of you know, our, our our honorable you know finance minister has really come up and and has included this in the life skill you know which all of us you should have and you know so if you're really thinking about it you know uh, just come over i'm you know we're providing the details over here uh, you can just reach out to us and we'll be more than happy to take this further take and convert your dream to reality and now you have you know uh, doc, you know i would say uh, bait sir also with us you know and he'll be the he'll be the lead faculty in terms of you know taking your you know uh, curriculum through and of course making you reach to the heights that you can you know that you can really uh, reach out to or or or, or i would say Uh, get up to and so on and so forth so you know in case there is anything you know that you really have in your mind you know you can really reach out to us or comment below and we'll be more than happy to take it up i would say that is pretty much uh, what i really absolutely. wanted to cover it is it is absolute our pleasure to have you with us not only for this interview but also you know for being the faculty and of course helping the folks around the globe um, we really look forward for a for a you know for many such discussions as we go forward which would certainly help uh, our students and our audience to really you know convert their dreams to reality thank you very much thank you pankaj thank you very much for this uh, session here thank you very much for giving me the opportunity to to reach out to people as regards personal finance is concerned and thank you very much thank you sir look forward thank you thank you everyone thank you